people are hesitant to get into fly tying seems like so much money to get started. Everybody wants to tell you you need the nicest, the best, and the coolest equipment when it comes to fly tying, fly fishing, and that's not the case. You can do fly tying, you can do fly fishing on a budget. You don't have to be a consumer of all things. It's fun to save up and get that really nice piece of equipment, but it shouldn't prevent you from getting on the water. So check it out. I'm going to set you up with the tools you need for under 20 bucks to get your fly tying hobby started. So first thing up, you're going to need a vise. Vices are expensive. Why would you go spend $200 when you don't even know if you're going to be into it or not? Because not everybody likes fly tying. I love it, but not every, it's not everybody's cup of tea. And eventually you're probably going to want to invest in a nicer vise if you get into this. But you can get a vise going for six bucks. Six bucks. So whether it's you getting started, your kid getting started, buy a vise that does the job will, that will allow you to see if you even like it, if it's even for you or if you're not into it. So this guy I use for my kids now. I did a fly tying club at school. These are the ones that we did for our fly tying club. And it's just a great starter vise. It's got a C clamp that you can clamp on any typical size table. You spin this guy and it tightens down nice. Uh, my four year old was tying with a size four hook in here the other day um, and held it just fine. But if you're looking for a budget option to see if you're liking it, six bucks. Next thing you're gonna need to get started, a bobbin. Bobbins, again, are something that you might end up finding your own favorite type as you get into this hobby and you want might want to upgrade. You can absolutely tie great flies, flies that catch fish, with $4, $5, $6 bobbins. Bobbins, you know, are your thread holders. There's a tool that helps you pull the thread through the tube to be able to use a bobbin threader, but you don't have to spend money on that right off the bat because all you need to do is stick the thread through there, suck it to the other end, pull it through, you're good to go. The only other thing you need to get started fly tying is a pair of scissors. Yes, some guys spend hundreds of bucks on scissors, but I've been tying for years and I still use my cheapy first set of scissors because I'm not trimming deer hair for bass poppers and I'm not tying those kind of flies where I feel like I need it. They are still sharp. They still cut well. I can tie my go-to flies. These guys work just fine. So that's it. Three tools to get you started. I'd say 70% of what I tie, I only use my vise, my bobbin, and my scissors. Now materials, don't get a kit. That's my suggestion. Don't buy a materials kit because there's going to be a ton of junk in there that you will never use. Buy materials for the flies you want to tie. Pick your favorite flies to fish. Buy the materials specifically for that fly. Buy the hooks for that fly. Buy the hair for that fly. Buy the thread that will work for that fly. That way you're getting more bang for your buck. You know those materials you're, you're going to use. Zebra midge is the one that I started when I got back into fly tying as an adult. I tied 10,000 zebra midges before I tied anything else. I, I needed to buy thread, wire, and a bead, and a hook. So thread, wire, bead, and a hook, that's pretty simple. You can get the feel for controlling your thread, all those things by tying that simple pattern. You wanna take it to the next level? Next three tools I would buy, and it doesn't cost that much more money, you still be under 40 bucks here, is uh, hair stacker, that way you can tie things like NL Caracatus, which is a pretty simple pattern, but you do need to stack the hair to do that. A bodkin, just helps with, you know, if you're going to do some head cement or you need to clear out the eye of your hook, a uh, bodkin's a good thing to have. And a whip finisher. I like to whip finish with the tool. Um, it just goes faster for me. I make less mistakes. You can whip finish by hand super easily, uh, not that complex, just take some practice. I'll link uh, Tim Flagler's video on how to do that because he does a better job explaining it than I ever could. So that's it. If you bare bones, you're buying it and you are really skeptical whether you're actually gonna like it, get yourself a cheap vise, pair of scissors, and a bobbin, and you, the materials you'll need for the one fly you wanna try. If you wanna take it to the next level and 
spend just a couple more bucks to get yourself set up, get yourself a hair stacker, a bodkin, and a whip finish tool. All right, guys, don't let money prevent you from getting your fly tying career going. It's a whole nother way to scratch that fly fishing itch when things aren't perfect to get out on the water. Let me know, did I forget anything? Any, any other tools that are a must have on your list? Let me know in the comments. If you got something out of this video, give me a like and a subscribe and uh, we'll see you on the water.